It's time for business news. As we heard earlier in the show, Ontario will be moving into step two of the reopening process next Wednesday. And Richard, that means personal care services can finally reopen. We can finally get that haircut. Your, your Manny and Petties. And Manny and Petties, yes. I've already booked Bring all my on. appointments. Have you really? I did. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Hey, listen, they need the business, right? There's going to be, I'm sure, a long lineup, so make sure you, you call ahead, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I mean, these guys, they haven't been open, Erica, the barbers and the salons, since late November here in uh, the Toronto area. But that's going to change on Wednesday. It's, a, it's an industry still very challenged, though. We've seen a lot of bankruptcies in this industry. And these, these locations are only going to be able to open at 25% capacity. Annette Palumbo, with an organization representing the barbers and salons, says that's really tying their hands behind their backs. Take a listen. It is not a lot. People are juggling schedules to make sure we're probably going to open all day, every day and shift people out. With this limit, I mean, are you gonna be able to turn a profit, Annette? I, I'm not sure and I don't know and I don't even wanna question that right now. Uh, she is calling for more government assistance for the personal care industry. It's not clear that that's coming. We had on Ontario Finance Minister Peter Bethethal the earlier in the week who said something to the effect of the best stimulus is to reopen. So it's not clear that any more financial help are coming for these guys. But I'm glad you got your manis and your petties booked, Erica. Yeah, it's tough for them. It's certainly tough right now. Uh, okay, a couple of prominent clothing companies are changing their policies when it comes to the use of animal fur. Canada Goose making this announcement today. Canada Goose says, Erica, it's going to do away with fur altogether on its expensive jackets, on all its products, by the end of 2022. Uh, this comes after years of, of backlash against Canada Goose for its use of coyote fur. Uh, last year, the company said it would use reclaimed fur, but now it, it's going to do away with it altogether. However, Canada Goose still using natural down in its jackets, something some animal advocates contend uses painful methods uh, to kill the geese to make those, those jackets. Meantime, Holt Renfrew says it will stop selling all animal fur and exotic skins by the end of this year. Holt Renfrew also says it plans to stop selling cosmetic products that contain plastic glitter and will make a commitment that its denim will be sustainable as well. Good to see there, I think, Erica. Yeah, I think so too. And finally, the latest version of Microsoft Windows is set to drop later this year, and we got our first sneak peek today, Richard. Boy, I remember 3.1 when it came out, and uh, here we are, Windows 11. Uh, being debuted today, the newest OS, the first major update for Windows since 2015. And it has a, a sleeker overall look to it. The new start menu and the new start button are centered at the bottom of the screen instead of off to the left side. You're seeing some of the new uh, look there. The uh, company also says it will integrate its Teams chat software directly in Windows. And this is notable, uh, it will incorporate a new Windows store that lets software developers use their own in-app payment systems with no commission to Microsoft, that's kind of taken ahead a bit at Apple, I think. Microsoft stock today, Erica closing at a record high.